It's time to get honest about Canada's forest industry and its impacts. Part one. Every year, the Canadian government puts out a glossy report putting a green spin on how our forests are doing and how awesome our logging industry is for the climate, biodiversity, and well, apparently everything. Canada is misleading the world when it comes to how we're doing in forest management with this glossy state of the forest report. Here, we explain why the report matters and how we can fix it. This year, some groups have come together to set the record straight, issuing their own report, what we're calling the actual state of the forest, seen through the spin, complete with receipts. Let's break it down. Finding number one, counting clear cuts as forests. Since the international definition of forest includes forests that have been logged but likely to eventually regrow, Canada is able to report near zero levels of deforestation, despite the fact that we log up to a million hectares per year. The entire country could be clear cut tomorrow and the government could report zero deforestation. So clearly we need another way to measure impact. Forest degradation is a term scientists use to measure the loss of forest quality as opposed to quantity. This includes ecological health and productivity, biodiversity, and all those good things. But Canada doesn't report on that. In our next video, we'll touch on how Canada poorly reports on how much area has been logged and forestry's impact on biodiversity. In the meantime, do your part, get involved at the link in our bio.